As we all know, the world of gaming is a rich and wonderful place. From developers, publishers, writers and creators, the gaming industry is filled with talent that has shaped the gaming world we now know. Without companies of the past, companies of the present wouldn't exist as we know it. I'm Jo, and here are five British companies that changed the world of gaming. Number five, Llamasoft. Founded in 1982 by the master of weird British games, Jeff Minter, Llamasoft quickly built its reputation. Their games ranged through the weird and wonderful, and the team produced titles that were not only rich in originality, but also filled with quirky humour and heart-racing action. Llamasoft has released over 30 games on nearly 20 platforms over the years, many of which we are thrilled to have as part of our catalogue on Anstream Arcade. As previously covered in our top 10 weird retro games, Jeff Minter was always a fan of strange concepts, and these carried over into the games produced by Llamasoft. From fighting off space camels in advance of the Mega Camel, to protecting a maternal llama in Mama Llama, playing some kind of yak creature in Ancipital, or mowing your lawn in Hover Bogger, Llamasoft's games really captured the wonderful sense of weird and discovery that was 80s gaming. Number four, the Bitmap Brothers. Founded in 1987, the Bitmap Brothers released their first game in 88, Xenon. Xenon truly showed what 16-bit computers were capable of and offered a great soundtrack as well as cutting edge graphics and challenging gameplay, the perfect combination. Following the success of Xenon, the Bitmap Brothers followed with a futuristic beat-em-up ball game Speedball. But it was its sequel, Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe, that is their most critically acclaimed game. As Brutal Deluxe's manager, you must take them from zeros to heroes in the league. Matches are a frantic 90 seconds of action, and this one has been great fun to create unique challenges for as part of Anstream's catalogue. My personal favourite is Take Me to the Hospital. Nothing beats beating the opponent, literally. With the release of Gods in 1991 and the Chaos Engine in 93, the Bitmap Brothers have developed some of the most iconic games available over the years. Number three, Houston Consultants. With a reputation for high quality games that constantly pushed the boundaries of what computers at the time were capable of, Houston Consultants have a historical reputation in the gaming world. Games such as Nebulous, which saw the character staying central when you moved left or right, showed a graphical innovation of the time and were praised in reviews of the game when it was released. With brilliant titles such as Euridium, Paradroid and Cybernoid under their belts, Houston's games formed the legacy with which so many groundbreaking companies would later become a part of. From 1981 and the release of Space Intruders, to 1991 and the release of Zarathustra, when they closed their doors, Houston had seen 14 of their games awarded and tried their hand at both development and publishing. After its closure, several members of the Houston team went on to form 21st Century Entertainment, releasing several games such as Pinball Dreams and Pinball Fantasies. Number two, Codemasters. Founded in 1986, Codemasters has a plethora of incredible titles to their name. Perhaps one of the most quintessentially British games to their catalogue is the Dizzy franchise. The brainchild of the Oliver Twins, Dizzy the Egg has been the hero of seven official games and a few not so official ones either. Set in various fantastical landscapes, the little egg somersaults and rolls his way around the world, saving friends and family and foiling the schemes of the evil wizard Zax. In 1999, Codemasters bought Sensible Software, another powerhouse of gaming development in the 80s and 90s. With this addition to their collection, a host of other recognisable titles such as Cannon Fodder, Sensible Soccer and Megalomania now sat under the Codemasters umbrella. With other huge and instantly recognisable titles under their belt, it's no wonder that Codemasters is a gaming icon that is still going strong today. And number one, Team 17. A younger contender for our British crown, but a worthy one nonetheless. With a whole heap of iconic titles under their belt, there was only one way we could think to round off this trip down British development memory lane. Team 17 were founded in 1990 through a merge of British publisher 17-bit software and Swedish developer Team 7. Team 17 work with developers around the world and have released over 90 chart-topping and award-winning games across many gaming platforms. In 1991, they developed Alien Breed for the Amiga. This atmospheric, alien-inspired top-down shooter has you moving around an alien-infested complex. From a top-down view, you must always keep an eye on your surroundings, your energy and your ammunition. Of course, the most iconic of Team 17's creations is the 95 Amiga and Mega Drive release, Worms. This chaotic turn-based artillery game sees you controlling a team of worms using whatever weapons are in your arsenal to take down your opponent. Filled with classic British humour and creative weaponry, Worms has seen many iterations over the years and is still a firm favourite today for many gamers. That's it for our five British companies that changed the world of gaming. What do you think? Did we miss any out? Let us know in the comments down below. And for more information on the games featured here, head to antstreamarcade.com. See you next time.